Hello, welcome to Turn Out, Tune In. I'm Romy Cars Rappaport. And I'm Zipporah Cars. And today we have the incredible fortune to be talking with Indiana Woodward. Um, I've known you, Indiana, for many, many years. Um, yes. And without. And mm -hmm. same with Romy. And we're so excited that you're taking the time to talk to us. So, um, you know, one of the things that we want to talk about is just, first of all, how are you doing? Um, how are you I'm feeling? Good. Start there. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I feel like this time is definitely very difficult for, you know, the artists all around the world because our craft requires space and, you know, being with each other most of the time and, you know, like partnering and things like that. And just the community, it's all about community, our craft. So it's definitely very difficult to, you know, use this time wisely. But some of the ways that I feel like I'm trying to use my time is by going back to the basics of bar because there's not a lot of space and I'm in my little um, study which is the library and it has like a little um, awning and stuff that I can hold on to, but it's not very big. You know, I kick the shelf whenever I do anything big in my space. So it's nice to go back to the basics of bar and rework all of the technical issues that may have been slipping away when we've been getting tired in our seasons um, and working on less because we've been doing so much stage work. Um, which is not bad, but it's it's a good way to see this time as beneficial because we can go back to turning out and pointing our toes or working on our point work, you know, specifically rolling through the feet and things like that. And I've personally been taking that very seriously with um, my time. I've been doing a lot of point exercises and rolling through my toes and things when I, my feet aren't super cramped and super tired from performing the night before. And it's really nice to feel like I'm get it, setting my little goals for myself, like doing the simplest releve and center and not wobbling and trying to come down through my feet with like eight counts or something that's difficult. Um, so little things like that have definitely been helping. It's also been really nice to take different um, Zoom classes or Instagram Live, whatever platform you know you go for. It's nice to take you know, ballet from all different companies where we wouldn't necessarily be able to take those classes all the time and um, see new faces, see new areas, everyone's homes, and also try and take different types of classes. Like there's a Gaga for the people or Gaga for dancers. That's really fun. There's a thing that's called Dance Church and it's something that um, my boyfriend Harrison told me about. And it's also really fun. My One of my friends, Claire Kretschmar, has been doing Zumba classes. Mm -hmm. And so we've been like staying really creative in the things that we've, you know, been choosing to do as dancers. And it's very helpful to channel the positive ways that we can use this time versus getting lost in our little holes, black holes, you know, our little caves of depression, because it's so easy to fall into those holes during this time because you were you know it's almost that we're getting this time taken away from us in a sense you know for each of our own career not because we shouldn't be trying to heal the earth and things like that and the people that's not what I'm saying but specifically for each of our careers we may feel a depression because it feels like time is ticking away you know and for dancers it's so important our time because we end our careers so early so it's good to try and focus on the little positive things that we can do, like really perfecting our bar technique and the small combinations in the center that you can do in your space, along with trying new activities, doing maybe some other exercise classes that could, you know, make your blood flow and find some new friends or, you know, find a FaceTime group that you enjoy talking to. And that's kind of what I've been doing with my time, um, which with dance, um, relating to dance, I mean. But other than that, I've been taking time to be with my family, which also is very rare for me to go home for a prolonged period of time. And so it's really special to get to catch this time with my family, you know, also, you know, abiding by all the healthy guidelines and things like that, and social distancing whenever we do see other family in the area. But it's really nice to be able to catch 
up my lost time with my sisters and my mom and my stepdad and all my dogs are just over the moon. Animals are so happy. Animals are just so happy right now. They just want us to stay here forever. Yeah. So it, it's nice to, and, and also self-reflection, you know, finding things inside of you. Why are you feeling frustrated right now? And then figuring those things out for each one of us, because we each have different battles that we feel inside of us. And it's a nice time to kind of work on ourselves because we don't have the distractions that we usually do of having to run to work when we need to, or, you know, going to like tons of doctor's appointments or whatever you do in your day, you know, you, you really have this time to be bored and boredom is really scary for people because we're so used to like, go, 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 you know, in the city, it's like, you're always going. And so when there's a moment of stillness, it's kind of like, uh Oh, what am I supposed to do here? And so this time is filled with it and it's okay. It's okay to have those times because it's bringing you back to our nature of being, I feel like, you know, and, and just being able to look outside should be an activity in itself, you know, and looking at the trees or the sky and, and stuff like that. So hopefully it can bring awareness in that way where people can take this stillness from this time and self-motivation to when they go back and everything is healed in the world. But that's how I feel for now, at least. <laughs> that's beautiful. 